Hey guys. No. Welcome back to ACL. Oh, no, that's not Melbourne. It's ACL Brisbane, as we just did have an audio cut out there. But it's all right. I'm, of course, the man, Dr. Carey. I'm joined by Fizz once again. Fizz, you're back. And we're here with the final pool play game of ACL Brisbane. This is it right here. Pathfinder fame up against Trident Rebellion. These two teams, they are 3-0 and in overall series count. They've yet, to, they've yet to lose a series. And more importantly, both of the teams have only dropped one map. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how this one's going to go. You know, Rebellion, a very strong team, but fame. I think they've been coming in here mm -hmm. and shocked a lot of people. They definitely have. Bundo, of course, is one of those main players. We'll watch him off the break from Fame. And Fame, they really just... Not many people knew who exactly were they were who they were to say so not too long ago. And then Crit ended up joining because Crit is well known in the community. He just picked up a triple there. And he's straight on to see their rival does shut him down in the end there. But the Fame, they are a fairly well-known team online to say to speak through the CG competitions. But coming to land, not too many people really pay too much attention to them. But I tell you what, they made some heads turn when they only lost one map so far throughout this game. And it's unfortunate to say after this series, one of them will have more than one loss. Makes yeah. me cry. It is definitely sad to see that. Of course, a lot of people know Ooh. the Triton name. Triton T1 Dodge was the name of mm -hmm. the uh, Curse AU squad back in COD Champs last year. Uh, or earlier this year, rather. Yep. And now they've picked up the uh, Rebellion squad. So, you know, they're a pretty well-known organization. But the team, not so much. Correct there, as we are watching Blue. Just got taken down by Rivals Grenade there. Jolteon still 0 for 2. Let's watch him, see what he can do for his team as A is getting contested. They're just trying to capture and our rival is at least neutralized. He challenges Fitzy. Not a smart move there as he does get the kill. And Fitzy comes around the corner to two people. Not what you would have expected there at all from the two of them. But this is round five pool play, the last match of the open bracket before we get into the double elimination. That's the good stuff. That's the good stuff, Fizz. We can't wait for that. We're still watching Bundo as of right now. He does a close game. 12 points in advantage to the team of fame. Yeah, of course, as you said, we're on board with Bundo at the moment. I'm pushing this B flag, finds one player, easily gets the kill. Oh, oh Stun Grenade gets the tag. Not able to pick up the kill, though, as Wolfie takes him down. Watching Blue now, trying to push up through the stairs. There is a player in front of him that's Vanquish, shuts him down quite nicely. Vanquish does tag a player, will give the call out. He's gone into Kitchen and comes around the corner and finds Fitzy. Beautiful job there. Another one in front of him. As right now, Vanquish is just the center of attention. Yeah, Vanish is going absolutely huge. Huge right now, six and four. Oh. Almost made a seven and four. Unfortunately, got shut down. Followed by you can hear Jolteon them. We well. can hear we them. Can can't hear we? Them. Definitely. They hear are them. pumped. The guys over at the team of fame. I'm willing to say it's them because they're making some big plays. They're they're pumped. They're getting vocal and they know what they're doing. It's some big plays. Jolteon back on your street. It's got a nice kill there, but gets shut down almost immediately. You know, I was talking to a few people before, and they were saying that mm -hmm. Blue was the person to watch out for. Blue's Blue. been going Let, huge Let's today. watch Blue, then. I will say Blue's been going really huge today mm -hmm. with the massive plays. Absolute freak on land. So I'm really interested to see what he can do as he Ooh. unfortunately gets shut down there by Vanish. Let's, we didn't see that. Let's just pretend. We didn't no, see that. No, All right, Blue. Blue. Up. Let's, let's wait for it. Wait for it. There we go. Bang. Yeah. Let's see, pretend bang. that never happened. Just rotate around the map. That's all. Exactly. <laughs> Too easy. See, that, that, was, that was a strategical death. To get a better spawn there, Blue now trying to defend that A. He's got to leg it over there. Of course, the guys over at the team are trying to rebel and jumping straight onto it. Jolteon makes some big plays out of his book. Crit motion. Oh, critical. We're watching Mazza for right now. He's trying to get towards his B flag. Does stun someone. Gets a few tags, but he gets shot around the corner. Blue with a panic knife in the background. And Vanquish, two kills to his name. Fitzy also gets one as both of the teams trading back and forth. And it is Fame still with the lead. Yeah, it's a very considerable lead at the moment. Ten points in it. With a minute 45 of the clock as Jolteon picks up one easy kill there on Bundo. And Venish also picks up critical motion. So two down there momentarily for Fame. And now we're, we're going to stay on board with, with uh, Venish for a little bit. See what he can do. He finds one, picks him up nice and easily. And for a second, now he's going to be spawning over near the uh, far area. But there he goes again now on a... A three streak, so you know, he's playing really well. Yeah, he's, he's playing extremely well. He's basically doing the slaying. He's just like, Jolteon, you know what? You, you do what you do, bro. You go around objective. Five captures to the name of Jolteon. As Jolteon gets a two piece in the background. Woofy gets one, and Bundo lights one alive. Only gets one kill, gets two kills. Good job by Bundo to answer back. He was in a bit of a sticky situation. He's made the best of it. As now the team from Fame, fresh off the respawn. Let's see what they can do. Look at that. Two points separating these two teams now. Fizz, we knew it was going to be a close game. There's a minute left in this half. But with the fact that only one point is separating these two teams, equal scores as of right now, just shows how close these two teams are. It goes to show why these teams have not looked, dropped the series and only one map. Piece, only though. one map, exactly. Like, this is why. And Jolteon picked up one, Venish picked up one. Bundo takes down Venish, so you know, it's a very even match at the moment. Two points in it at the moment. 
B flag is currently being contested by a team of fame. So, you know, if they can get the second flag and hold it for the majority mm -hmm. of the game, including next half, they got a really good chance of winning this one. Absolutely right. There are only 30 seconds left. As, oh, we still do have another half. So we got we got plenty of time there, guys, as it's only a, a two, three point game. It's such a close one. Fizz, I look at the scoreboard every time. It's like, oh, one point. Oh, two points. Oh, it's back to one point. That's just how close it is. Equal scores, 70 70 apiece. 71, should I say, as the final few seconds will roll on down. It looks like it's going to be a one point advantage for the team of fame. You know what, Fizz? This is a way to finish off the open bracket here was the guys over at Fame winning by, not winning, only leading by one point over Trident Rebellion. You know, judging what we've seen here so far, going to mm -hmm. ATL Sydney in a couple months time or in a month and a half virtually, I'm not being surprised that Fame is actually in the pro bracket. Oh, oh, look, look, at, look at Fizz here dropping some knowledge bombs over here. You know what they do want though? They want first place. Why? Why do you want first place, Carrie? Well, not only the fact do you get 10,000 pro points, but you also get a championship seeding position at MLG Anaheim. That's if you win this event, which of course is ACL Brisbane. Use the hashtag ACL Brisbane. Join the conversation on Twitter. Guys, actually sending your thoughts. Who do you think is going to take out this series, the final one of the open bracket? Do you still feel as though the guys from Pathfinder fame are going to do it? Or Trident Rebellion, make sure to include at ACL Pro and the hashtag ACO Brisbane as we get into this second half. Already 30 seconds played and still only three points separating the two teams. Yeah, this is going to be a very close game right to the end. I think they're going to keep on trading that B flag. So you can see it's under control. Get, trying to get under control again by the guys from uh, Trident Rebellion. So uh, that's going to be neutralized. And oh, again, only wonder. one. There we go. This is this is just going to change. Mm -hmm. if, if Rebellion get this flag now, it's going to be really hard for Pathfinder fans to come back. Absolutely. As Van Vanish is just... Want to call him Vanquish there, but I know that's not his name. There's Bundo picks up a nice little two piece there. Rifle haven't seen too much of him. He came out of the cannon blitzing at the start of this domination. He slowed down a little, unfortunately, to his name, but he's just going to be defending that A flag. No points going in favor of fame right now, as all of a sudden, for the first time since they're trying rebellion, they're going to take a little bit of a lead here. As you do see Vanish, along with the man of Jolty, on try and contest and defend that A flag. As Fitzy was in the middle of the map, unfortunately. Look at Bundo. Bundo wants to make a play here, Fizz. But can he do it? You know, if anyone can do it, Bundo can do it. He's 22 Absolutely. and 15 at the moment. So you know, he's been around so long. He has. Hasn't he? But only recently has he making a huge name for himself. A like mm -hmm. critical motion or crit, as we most often call him. Huge TP. Crit, he just knows when to perform. Gets another kill. Of course, Crit was at the 2013 Call of Duty Championship underneath Mind Freak back in Black Ops 2, where he performed extremely well. He's still one of the top players. As Jolteon picks up a beautiful two-piece there. Fitzy was the last player left to defend it. Now look at Vanish. He knows he has a huge role here to defend this B side. He does do so. Three down. Make that woofy. It's a two down. That's all dead for fame as all of a sudden that score is done to really surmount as the guards over the team of Trident Rebellion starting to walk away as this one. More than 10 points separating the as of right now. Look at Rival right now. He's currently got a four streak as well as Wolfie. So, you know, these guys, Wolfie just got taken out. So, my bad. I think I cursed him a little you bit. You cursed him. I Why did. would you do that? I'm sorry. No, that was an accident. That's, but, that's mean. But Crit, he's answering back now. He's got four, <laughs> four, four point streak to his name as well. So, make that a five. Make that seven. Gee, look at Crit. I don't know. They, you know, the game is just like, Crit, you're doing so well. Here, have some more points. He even more. They're just giving... He's just, that's just how well he's doing. They're just giving him points as of right now. He's watching out the middle of the map. Does spot a player. Putting some free fires out. But from the side will be Woofy who cleans him up. Vanish now. He's got two other players to help him support. Jump on this B flag. Two minutes left. I tell you what, it'll be quite easy for Fame to close up that gap. But they need to make some big plays here. As Bundo's doing it with a beautiful two-piece to his name. Make it free beat. Bundo! That is actually crit. I take that back. You know what? I'm so Crit, good job by you. No, we're going to give it to Bundo anyway. We're going to give it to Bundo? It. No, he deserves yeah, it. Yeah, Bundo. Good job, Bundo. But Fitzy, he gets a two-piece as well with the MTAR and the Semtex. So, you know, these guys, they're not, they're not giving up just yet. Mm -hmm. Look how close this game is. Just nine points in it with a minute 40 to go. It's going to be an insane one. Really intense for the finish. It is going to be a buzzer beater. Willing to say that blue on your screens right now. Challenges a very ambitious kill on the B. It's not going to work as of right now as the team of fame. They're going to have to backpedal towards that B flag. Or else they're going to be up in a bit of a sticky wicket. It's only eight points around the two teams. Minute 20 left. Fitzy does a 180 on his heels. That's going to be a free down for his team. Bundo, last one alive. Watch him off the respawn as he did just pick up a kill. Bundo, always in that kill feed 24 7. He's doing very well and doesn't get the neutralize on C. That is a big play out of the books from Trying Rebellion. 
and it's going to stay close right the last minute now, coming to the last minute, as, you know, that's what I meant to say, but a Wolfie picked up a nice little headshot there on oh. uh, Crit, so there goes two for the team of Rebellion, make that, no, 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 it's still oh, two. No, just two. That's you, no, only two as you do see Jolteon trying to capture A. He does lock it down, trying Rebellion back in the two flags as it is B getting contested. That is the man of crit. He will be able to at least neutralize and capture it. Uh, C is on the down lows. You do see Bundo has to go big for his team. There are players trying to contest him. And it seems like there's going to be too big of a score difference. It looks like trying Rebellion. They should be able to walk away with this one unless a catastrophe happens on their behalf. Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure it's actually physically impossible now for Fame to come back and win this one. Mm -hmm. 18 seconds left and a 8 or probably a 15 point difference. So, you know, it, it's going to be a tough one. It it's definitely, impossible. It's so. impossible. Bang. We can hear them. I'm not too sure if you guys can hear them, but we can hear them in the background. The guys over at Trying Rebellion, they know they did a fantastic job there. As, of course, Jolteon, Vanish, Wolfie, and Rifle make up that squad. They're on your screens right there as they are doing so well as of right now. They did come in at the 9th and 11th seeding. We did have a few teams that were all on the same pro points there. But they're the second team to give Fame a map loss. Of course, Fame only lost one map out of their three previous series in this open bracket pool play. Pool play. There we go. Spit out some English. But guys, that will be Trident Rebellion. They take out map number one, Fizz. As we will be up next, it will be a Search and Destroy on Freight. It's going to be interesting. We saw the previous Search and Destroy, which was Envy up against the team of 2XO. Could come down to the wire. I wouldn't be surprised. Do you think we're going to see another great Search and Destroy? You know, I'm going to say yes. You're going to say uh, yes? I'm going to say it's probably going to go to either map Ooh, number 10 or 11. Or round Ma number 10 or 11, rather. Bang. Fizz on the table. He says round 11 or 10. Guys, what do you guys think? Make sure to join the conversation. Hashtag ACL Brisbane. Make sure to include us and ACL Pro at Dr. Underscore Carry and at Fizz. What, what's your handle? You're going to have to let them know. Uh, it's at PHX double Z. So bang, yeah. right there. Make Fizz. sure you tweet us. Let us know who's taking this one out. Guys, we'll be back shortly. We'll search and destroy on freight. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to ACL Brisbane. Dr. Carey joined by Fizz. We're getting into a search and destroy of freight. Pathfinder Fame up against the team of Trying Rebellion. Trying Rebellion already up one to nothing. It's going to be a series of three. We're going to play all the maps. It's going to be the final two maps of pool play. You said round 11 to round 10. Now, you're going to have to give me some reasoning why. We see how close that was right to the mm -hmm. end of that last map. They're both teams are very aggressive, and I'm expecting nothing less on the, uh, the S&D as well. Okay, so Fizz got some wise words there, and I have to agree with him because it was such a close game. Constantly, it was below 10 points separating the two teams. Uh, it looks like Hosts won the game there, so we'll try to sort out the issues there, but that's all right. We'll talk a little bit more about Trident Rebellion because Trident Rebellion, they did actually lose the man of Mental, who was part of 2XO just recently, where they got the new pickup of... I'm willing to say... Uh, now, don't trust me on this. I'm willing to say it might have been Fitzy they picked up for that team. Not 100% sure on that one. We'll look into it. But they basically they had a roster change fairly close to the date of the event. 
and it worked out quite well for them because they look extremely so strong. They've only lost one map throughout the whole of today, but Fame, they're looking to give them their second loss. Indeed they are. Fame, they've been playing really well. Uh, Trident Rebellion, I haven't seen too much of them, I mean, apart from just before, so mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be a, an extremely close game, I feel, and uh, I'm expecting you know, some very clutch plays. Clutch plays, right there, plain and simple. And we did see, when we were in that little lobby, we did see the man of Vanish. He actually did have a scope out. So, I don't know, that could be a big factor. In the previous series, which we watched, which of course was Envy up against the team of 2X. So, there weren't very many scopes. Benno broke it out once or twice and got some good picks. So, it'll be good to see how these teams incorporate it. I always love to see the scopes breaking out on Freight because Freight is just such a... It, it, in aspect, it's actually a pretty large map, but the actual areas of which people engage in is very small because you've got those three main lines of sight. Of course, you've got the one near Broken Gate, red, and then just straight down the middle through the train. I feel as though players who can use that to their advantage will simply have the advantage. That's the plan. So who, who's the player from each team that you know you know, want to kind of keep a focus on? Uh, well, I heard some stuff about Blue before, but... That mm -hmm. last game was a bit disappointing. It maybe, was a little. Maybe it's the same thing as before. We talked him up. And I yeah, we talked up Benno, and then Benno ended up like doing nothing. And then we're like, oh, yeah, Benno, he's trash. And then Benno drops like the best blitz score I've seen from him in a long time. So let, so do we try the same tactic? No? Maybe? Yeah, yes? I, think, I think we go with Bundo. Okay, we're going with Bundo. So we're going with Bundo just to get in Blue's heels. Bang. Right there. See, this is, this is how we work. We have the caster's curse, unfortunately. Any player that we say will do well. Never does, unfortunately for that. But we will watch who's going to be on the aggressive side. Looks like it will be Trident Rebellion on the aggressive side. We'll watch Vanish off the spawn. As I love to see this, we just talked about it. He's got that scope out. And it's going to come uh, in handy here in a second. It, it, it's going to be interesting to see which way he pushes. If he pushes straight through containers, trying to get some mid, mid uh, tracks pick up. Mm -hmm. Or if he actually rotates back, he's not going to do it. He's going to, stray, he's going to look for a mid pick up. Go for it. Just go for it, Vanish, mate. He is looking towards that Owen section. Now, Smoke does go down. If any of the players from the team of Fav have Incognito. Oh, oh, that's what the player misses the shot. That is going to be a catastrophe out of his behalf. But 50 did drop in the meantime. Now, I was watching Crit. He had the scope out. wasn't really able to connect. And Blue will also drop there. Oh, Bundo. Beautiful shots out of his book there. As he managed to take out Rival. Still is a 2v3 advantage for the team. Over. Make that a 1v3. Uh, no, can't even. Wolfie, beautiful two-piece to finish that round. That's a quick... First round victory for the team of Tronic Rebellion. As we've seen them come up, we've seen them drop very, very fast indeed, Rival. And Wolfie, I think players getting killed. So, you know, mm -hmm. indeed, it's gonna be, I think it's going to be an interesting one. As I said, it's going to be very aggressive, and we just seen then. It was very aggressive. It was. Wolfie, he had a... Uh, some. Oh, wait, what's... Oh, oh look at that. Oh, jo no balls. Come on. Joltio did have the actual LMG out. Would have liked to have seen him make some plays with that. Let's watch Fitzy. This is exactly what Vanish did last round. Let's see if he can actually get the kill, though. As he's still looking over towards her. This is like a picture perfect of what happened the last round. And Rival predicting it ends up getting the kill out there. Fame Bundo, he's broken out an LMG of his own. And of course, motion, critical motion or crit, as we all know. He can pick up a kill as well. So now, 2v3 situation. Mm -hmm. A Bundo for the LMG, I think. We have to watch him for a little bit at least. See what he can do with it. Mm -hmm. Looking for it now through picks through third story red. Not There's someone there. He's just bought a player though. Is he going to be able to see where he's going to run to? Of course, I'm going to have to him. And Vanish. It was Vanish in that building. So, or was it two? No, it was only Vanish. Okay. Right. Now, yeah, I've got to keep an eye out for Ooh. Wolfie. Did see the player goes out for the shots. And they would pick up the kills though. So, right. oh, oh, Wolfie! Wolfie. Bundo. Uh, it's called Xbox Off, unfortunately, for you there. As that will be another round to the team of Ghosts also known as Trident Rebellion. Jitsu glitch out there in the end. Bundo got destroyed by Wolfie, though. He got the tags on Wolfie. He's like, you know what? I'm going to take my time. Hides behind the corner, challenges him at the exact right moment, and absolutely melts him. I'm pretty sure he brought his router to land. Let's watch him. He's yet to die. He's still got that up. No! He's broken out the actual vector. Feeling maybe a little bit of aggression. And what's also interesting, double smoke grenades. Yeah, they're going to come into play here in a second. I think he's going to smoke up middle and red. And there goes red. And is he going to smoke middle? Oh. He's going to smoke red alley. And out goes a Semtex as well. So, you know, this could be an interesting Damn. play. He's only got a submachine gun. Machine, uh, machine gun, rather, sorry. Making and up making up guns, are we, Fizz? We are. We are. Yeah. That's what we got, do. He's only got the vector. So, long range engagement wasn't going to be his thing. And as you're saying, Blue picked him up. 
Blue picked him up. Blue doing quite well. One for two. He, well, I mean quite well. The fact that he got a kill. You got you got to give him credit for that. As he's pushing towards red now, you can tell by the mini map right there. You can see where the players are positioned. Blue, he's got a few of them to his right. Of course, that is jolting on straight on the bomb. Looks like he's going to try and get the plant now. Blue, he's still staying down low. Feels as though maybe a blue rotation, but does find the man of rival with his pants down. Gets the kill. Jumps on the head glitch, looking over towards A. As Fitzy in the meantime will rotate around. Got the pistol in hand. See if he can pick up any kills. Just picks the bomb. As you can tell by the final two players, Vanish, he's all the way back in the white area. And Jolteon is just trying to look through the bottom of the train towards that A bomb site. Defending it, Blue gets him. All up to Vanish in a 1v2. That's a plan to his right. Fitzy gets it. 22 seconds. Plenty of time to get that defuse. As just like that, Fame get around on the board. And again, a very aggressive round indeed from both teams there. But Fitzy and Fame Blue both coming out clutch when they needed to do it. And I feel if Fitzy was in the wrong position, then mm -hmm. Blue may have been picked up. Quite easily. It was, it was a little bit unlucky because uh, Vanish didn't think that the man of it was, it was, it was rival. I'm willing to say it was rival. Ri no, it was Jolteon, sorry. Wait, was it? You know what? Whoever it was that was out near the front of train, they they shouldn't have died, plain and simple. They were in a great position. They had eyes on the bomb. They should have just showed some awareness. It really did put a bad positioning over the man of Vanish. So you can't really be too mad at him. Now, this is what I like to see. He's just dummied the fact that he's going to go up top, which he will now do. It fits here with a two-piece with a scope, though. Let's keep an eye on him as he's heating up. Getting some montage clips going. Fame Fitzy perhaps as he has through that USR thermal. So now you need to make sure no one's running in cook if you can. It makes it slightly more difficult to see as we all know and all have tried, I'm sure of it. But it's now a Ooh. 4v1 situation. Vanish, last one alive. He's going to come in contact with a play here in a second. Oh, uh, no. Uh, no, uh, no. He's, he's, he's rotated back. No. Okay. Well, that's... This is a weird play, but it's worked out quite well. You can tell Crit, the bomb carrier, he's just gone all the way over to B. Bomb is down, and all of a sudden, Vanish. Oh, crud indeed for him. He has to go and make a big rotation. He's only dies once, and one kill to his name. Oh, turns oh, around. Oh, oh absolutely Vanish. destroys Blue there. Blue got the first shot. Not too sure what he went for there, but he absolutely gets the whack. That's got to put some confidence in Vanish, but he's still got not that much time to try and work with here. Oh, motion. Wow, that, him down. That, that kill, though, is Blue. Oh, what are you doing, son? Vanish has got to be hyped up after that one. Surely the guy has got to be hyped up. That was an oh, absolute yeah. career ender. That was a career. He just got, as the Americans say, world starred right then and there, live on stream. Poor Blue. Probably getting some tweets about it right now, unfortunate to him. Let, you know what? I wouldn't mind. All right, no, he's on defense. You know what? Screw you, Blue. We're going to go watch Jolteon, see what he does. As he looks like he's got, this is interesting. He has an MTAR and an LMG all in the one class. Well, it's going to be handy. As you can oh, see, you know, he's going to try and wallbang through that red door there. And the MTAR, I'm guessing, for close range engagement. So, you know, it's definitely a useful thing to have there. Zero and three, though. So, you don't see Jolteon do too much, but on board with They didn't hear him break the gate. No, indeed no. they didn't. They, uh, they may have. They may have they didn't. Wow. But there we go. The show's right there. Wolfie picks up motion for a nice little headshot. Close range there. Shuts him oh, down. Blind day shuts him down, though. So, now, again, one apiece down, 3v3. I don't know how the guys from Fame didn't hear that gate break. If they had their headsets cranked up, they surely would have. As you do see now, the man of Jolteon, he wants to go into blue. He wants to go into red, sorry, but he knows that blue is right out the front there. He's got support from the man of Fitzy. Oh, look at that. Blue comes around the corner, does find the man of Jolteon. Another player to his oh, left rival. rival. Shuts him down just like that Fitzy Bundo. Last two alive. 2v2 situation, boys. What do you do? Fitzy goes to try and go and... Maybe tries to break out the scope. And he's up for, oh! oh! Unfortunately, not pick up the kill though. Just a tag. Unfortunately for Fitz, he's made You're stunned. kidding me. He's got the pistol. He's oh, no! oh, Vanish goes down to Fitz. You're kidding now me. Now a 1v2 rival v pistol. And uh, it's going to be it there. Oh! There's one. Oh, the oh he's, looking for, he's looking for the third. He's nah. got five seconds. He can't Bundo. let the bomb. Bundo's just going to run away. Bundo he's bunding it. it. He's, yeah. he's liking it. Nah. Bund Smart Bundo. plays by Bundo. Bundo just decides to leg it. He doesn't want any of it and gets his team the round. Time limit reach. Rival got the... He nearly... He, what was interesting, what I found interesting was the fact Fitzy got a pistol kill on a player. He thought it was the one that he can cuss that was hiding around the corner when that was actually Rival who then just, you know, nicked off. He's like, I'm out. You know, peace. He was gone. That was a very interesting play because Fitzy quite easily could have got, you know, ended that round right there, but wasn't able to, unfortunately. Let's get back onto the guys at Fame. They're going to be on the aggressive side. Let's watch your man at Blue. Let's see what he does. Of course, Blue's got that Remington R5 with the thermal side. So he's looking for his top red. Not going to find anyone there at the moment. Now looking over towards A side. He's expecting to find someone. There's going to be someone there. It's going to be Fitzy picking up Jolteon. So 
Okay, a 3v4 as it stands right now. One minute left in this round. Two rounds to three in favour of Fang. Importing round for Trident Rebellion. They don't want to go down by two. Fitzy trying to scout out a few of the players in the middle of the map. You can tell by the minimap. Vanquish or Vanish, I say, is located in red. The other two fairly spread out. And there's Rival. Picks up one. Happy to shoot the body of Crit Motion. As now he's looking back over. Spots the play attacks him up quite nicely. Can the nade clean him up? Just going to cook it. Hurl it in that general direction. Gets the assist though. Vanish does clean him up in the end there. Blue in the meantime does get Vanish. So answering back two for two. As he's just going to get straight onto that bomb. Picks it up and comes around the corner. Did just peek him. Both of them spot each other calling out to their remaining teammates. But Bundo answers back. It's just trade for trade right now. Bundo in a one-on-one -on -one up against Rival. He's careful right now. He has got the bomb in hand. Only five seconds left. He's looking for the kill. Oh, he, he didn't make the jump. Plan. He failed the jump. They're going to see each other in a second. It's no. unfortunate. They still that, got the uh, round, Rival, Rival's on the uh, other side of that train. He's still got the round, though. Rival doesn't care. He's like, hey, got the round. That's pretty good. Trying Rebellion. Levels it up. Oh, that's... Dirty Warbang that is, you, you know, You know what I love about seeing that? What I love about that is the fact Wolfie got the call out from his team. Hey, there's a player on bomb. Wall bang it. He did so. Easy kill. That proves to me Trident Rebellion. They got some great communication going. It allowed them to get that round. Let's watch Wolfie. He got a dirty kill cam. Actually, no. We're going to watch Jolteon because he's still stuck in the donut shop. Indeed he is with a Remington now. So he's looking to do some damage. And he gets oh. shut down again by him. Grit. Oh, with The crit. sniper shot to the throat. Unfortunately, shutting him down. Still, negative six. <laughs> negative six. If... I tell you what, if he drops a donut on the main stage, he <laughs> he's going to hear it for the rest of his COD career, unfortunately. As you do see the guys over at the team of Trani Rebellion, they've pulled back. They want to slow down the momentum of fame. Of course, Crit got that first blood and shut down the bomb carrier of Jolteon Wolfie. Now pushing off. It's a very risky play on his behalf. There is a player right in front of him. Doesn't know it. Now he'll know because that was Bundo who actually was in front. Took out his teammate as now they're just going to run past each other. Bundo oh. escapes around the corner. Now does he pre-fire it? No he doesn't. He's not going to challenge it and neither is the man of Wolfie. Wolfie just runs around the corner. Does get some tags out. Can Bundo actually seal the deal and get the kill? Bundo not challenging anything. Wolfie finally does clean him up in the end. Fitzy and Blue last two alive for fame. Yeah, I'm on board with Wolfie at the moment. They're going to try and get this bomb down. The bomb is in the hands of Vanish. And it's down to Fitzy now in a 1v2. And it looks like that He's bomb... dedicated. That bomb's going to get planted here in a second, I feel. Oh. And Fitzy gets shut down by Vanish. His shots were not on par there. It's going to cost him there as Vanish just doesn't miss in situations like that. The scuff jump too strong indeed as Vanish... He breaks the five kill mark. I'm still a little bit disappointed at the fact that Jolteon is yet to get a kill. Feels as though I've, you know, I, I just sense that he's not, you know, he's not met his full potential. He's a player which can just go huge for his team and bring them so much momentum. And when you got someone like that lagging behind and going zero for six, it really does slow down that momentum and the overall pace of the team. It's trying to rebel him. They got to get around him. Try to get him to get a kill there. As the rival does finally break the silence, takes out Blue, crit motion wants to answer back. And of course, we see Crit right now with the Remington. So he's going to make some something happen as well. 4v3 situation at the moment. Now, I'll, I want to really go on board with uh, Jolting and see what he can mm -hmm. do in terms of getting a kill. Still negative 6, 0 oh. and 6. Still at the donuts. He's looking Look to make something. Plays. He's going to flank all the way around here looking for a player. Oh. He's got yeah, it. He got it. He's off the donut shop into the breadstick zone and who, gets shut down by who, Fitzy. Who cares that he just got sniped? I, I don't. Jolteon gets a beautiful kill. <laughs> I'm just glad he's no longer on the donut, but now he's on the breadstick. So now he has to get off the breadstick. Come on, Jolteon. We don't care. We, we just want you to get more than one kill, mate. But he did very well there. Fitzy, more scopes. He's just not missing tonight. As you do see, Vanish last one alive. Oh, that's a beautiful shot onto Crit. It's all up to Fitzy versus Vanish. Bomb is down. It's in favor of Fitz. It's all he's got to do is defend it. The bomb is in the corner. I like the play here, and I'm willing to predict where he's going. Picks up an I-5. So Vanish, he's got to make some big plays here. 27 seconds. He's trying to check as many corners as he can. But Fitzy, he's just moving around the map. He's just constantly on the rotation. As Vanish, he has no clue where he is. And Vanish, unfortunately, wasting time right now. Looking for the bomb there. It's going to be that mm. Fitzy. If he had missed that kill, I'd be very disappointed. What's interesting to note, you said 10-11 will be the round count. That was round eight. We're coming into round nine. It's equal scores. I'll tell you what, Fizz. 
I'm, I'm really glad you showed up here at this event because you're the prediction master. Myself, can't do it. Absolutely useless. I'll say a team will 3 them, they'll get 3 would That's the honest truth. At least someone here has the luck. This, this is why we're going to cast much more often from now on. As Wolfie's on your screens, let's see what he goes for. It is going to be round number nine, as we said. Throws the Kobe to try and get first blood, but unfortunately won't connect at all. Yeah, definitely rimmed off the basket there. He's looking for a second one, though. Is he second get time he's done this play. Maybe not going to be the case, though. You're looking, he's gonna, I think he, yeah, so Zaku is going to jump over to Ray. Oh, oh, that's, that's beautiful. beautiful. That absolutely beautiful. shut him down. Now looking for a second play, pushing the Raiders. There's another one there. It's going to be Wolfie. right. That's going to be Fitzy. This is... Fitzy gets shut down. Wolfie absolutely tearing them. A new one. 10 and 5, double KD, going absolutely huge right now. My god, Wolfie is breaking out the geek strats early on right now as he's trying to get the final player, which is crit. Now, he would get the call out to Vanish. Where is Vanish? Let's try and find Vanish. He's right now on top of A. Now, Vanish does have the bomb. Interesting. Now, he doesn't go for the plant. They're obviously going for the kill, and they do get it. Wolfie gets a free down that round. 11 kills to his name. We're into round 10. Can the guys from fame bring it to a round 11? The golden round, as the boy Bioass likes to say. Fizz, who's taking out the next one? I really, I can't call it. I'm, I want to say fame, but I'm mm -hmm. thinking it's going to be Trident. Okay. All right. That's interesting. It, he, he predicts Trident. I'm, I'm leaning towards fame to take this one out, then Trident overall, because it just, I just feel as though a little bit too strong in the end. But that is Trident on the defensive side. Look at the structure here. Straight off the brink, you do see all the players from Fame. This is going to huddle together. Looks like they're going to go for early picks. No, Fitzy. He's just going to go balls to the wall and try and be aggressive out the front of Red. As he does get tagged by the grenade, that is going to slow him down. As no one yet to drop 30 seconds into this. And down goes Georgie in 2 and 9. At least he got that second heal. So he's not on the red stick no more. Fitzy's going to pick up 1 now. 2v4. This could go to round number 11, but Wolfing advantage. The duo that we've seen a second ago. Taking down three players with Wolfie. <gasps> Rival Vanish takes down one. Now it's a 3v2. But of course, Vanish has now gave away his position. Oh, Blue picks up him. And yeah, Vanish, he gave away his position. Now he's the last one alive to know exactly where he is. And he is against the clock because he's got to get three kills and a defuse. 30 seconds. You do see him trying to make some plays. Does spot a player. He should be able to get the kill. There's one. There is a second player just to his left there shooting through the wall. I believe that would be Fitzy. It actually is. Fitzy just runs from the situation. Crit is just going to hang back and play defense. 18 seconds, 17, 16. It's ticking on down. Vanish needs to make a play. Looks like he doesn't have the time. Comes around the corner. Fitzy's right there. Red Round 11, these two teams just going at it right now, Fizz. This is exactly what we expected to happen, exactly what we wanted to happen. This is round by round, map by map. This could very well go into a 1-1 map going to map number 3, which is going to be Blitz on, I'm not too sure what the map will be. It's going to be I Blitz believe on. It, it will be Blitz on Warhawk, or will it? Let me check. Yeah, Blitz on Warhawk. Oh, thank God something's going our way. It will be trying Rebellion on the defensive side. They didn't win their previous one, so it's probably not the news that they want to hear, as Fame will be on the aggressors. Fitzy, let's watch him once again. He's got the scope. Can he finally get that spawn shot? And we're going to watch him right now, see what he can do with that scope. Indeed, he's got no one in no. his sights at the moment, but out goes a Hail Mary looking for a pick. Not going to be the case either. No one's dropped. Quick stroke through all, not able to pick up a kill again, so... He's now just waiting for someone to poke the head out and hopefully to connect that shot. He's waiting. You do see Jolteon. He will be in his line of sight. And that's also Wolfie. So there are players around that area. Fitzy looking through the bottom of the train. If he hits a scope like that, I might just lose it as he's now heading towards A. This is a very aggressive play for a sniper. Very ballsy. And it doesn't work out too well. He gets tagged up. Position given away. Still 4-4. Look at how slow these two teams are playing. They know how important it is. The first kill to go down was Bundo, taken out by, I believe, oh, we've, lost, oh. we've just lost connection to the game. That seems fantastic. as though we have or we've just been kicked from the game. That's all right. We'll find out what's quickly happening. We'll try to get into it as quick as we can for you guys. That's Cod Ghost for you. He just chucks you into lobbies randomly. That's all right. We'll talk for a bit. So it was round 11. We'll try to figure out what happened as quick as we can for you guys. We'll find out at least who, ran the, who won it. You did see Jolteon got the first pick. Uh, system link is it is it still there it's just seems though like the xbox one to restart itself of course you know we get to round 11. it's just dropped it seems that, yeah it seems though like we've unfortunately sorry just listening to production seems like we did just lose it can hear some reactions going out so we'll find out who will get it since though trying rebellion did walk away was to win there guys we're so sorry about this it does happen unfortunately here at the lands seems as though our xbox 
has unfortunately just shot itself in the head there. So it happens. Trying to rebellion though, Fizz, they do walk away with the search and destroy. They over technically win this series and they give Fame their third map loss of this game. And I think they're going to try and make it the fourth, going into the third map here in a minute. Hopefully we get it going again. Mm. Uh, but, uh, you know, maybe Fame, Fame don't want to go out like that. They want to get go. one map. Definitely want to get no. one map on the board. Definitely. So before we get back in the game, I was trying to go. Hey, oh, can yeah. you see look the view at, we got Look at right the now? view. Look at the that. View. That is view. Like, that I tell you what, guys, do not go anywhere. Because in a few hours, what time is it? Over here in uh, Brisbane, Australia, it's nearly five o'clock. I tell you what, once it gets dark out there, it is going to be a magnificent view. So you guys, don't go anywhere. Go grab some popcorn. After this series, go to the local milk bar, pick up some lollies, pick up you know some drinks. Get Agreed, set. Man. Get set because I tell you what, the matches which we're going to have tonight are going to be some of the best the OzCod community has ever seen. I'm willing to say that. Guys, we're going to go to a quick little commercial break as we try and figure out these technical issues. It won't be too big of an issue. Try and rebel and did just win the search and destroy, guys. Stay tuned. More action live from ACL Brisbane. Okay, sorry guys, we are back right there, just fixing all the issues. We're back into it. It seems as though uh, ACL Boys Xbox hates him and just likes to disconnect randomly, but that's all right. It's going to be a blitz on Warhawk. We did see previously trying to rebellion. They won the surge and destroy. Sorry, we couldn't have that round 11 for you, but into blitz. Fame, they're looking to walk away with at least one map victory here. Yeah, they're not going to give out like it. Nobody's got time for that. No one's they, got time. Ain't nobody they, got time for that. They want to get this one map on the board, at least one map, to secure a better seating at mm -hmm. least. See, so if they go out 3-0, they lose a point on the board, and, you know, the seating's going to be ultimately worse. They have to get the map on the board, they, they you know, give themselves a chance to get a better seating. Absolutely. That's it, plain and simple there. As you do see Crit gets the first capture of the game, goes towards his name, and Crit, he may not be one of those players that gets many kills, but he will get a ton of captures as he can't do the defense there as he just watches the player slide on in. One on one will be scores that will of course was Vanish. And then also Fitzy gets a capture to his name. So it will be the lead for the guys over the team of fame. Good start by them. Indeed it is. Two to one currently. You see two players with kill uh with captures to the name. Three, two, two. 4-2-2-1 two, two is currently the, the kill uh, amount. 4 and 0 for Kroot with one capture. Oh. He didn't make that 4 and 1 as he was on a 5 point streak. Unfortunately, shut down. But Fitz, he's going to pick up a nice little close range kill. Find the second oh. one. They're not able to pick it up. Fame Blue, though, he's coming back into this game. 3 and 2. He's going positive at the moment. Oh, he's going to make a 4 He's going to tag and run away. Smart move by Blue. Looking to find that second kill. And able to pick it up. Oh, there it is. Shut him down. Oh! oh. oh. Blue. Unlucky. That is so unlucky. Jolteon, the AR was a little bit too strong in that situation. As Jolteon is four for one, good to see him. He's bounced back from that uh, <laughs> devastating Plastic. search and destroy performance where he uh, had a very lackluster time, which is uh, just summed up quite nicely. Wolfie gets a kill in the background. So does Vanish as Blue will answer back. Ooh, Rival nearly choking some shots there onto Fitzy as it still is the lead for fame. They're up by two. Crit 
already on six kills. Yeah, crit's going huge this time. He sort of slacked off a bit there before in the last two games, but now he's making a name for himself, bringing himself back in this game. So he's one player not, unable to pick up the kill, though. Three down there for the team of fame. Now four players up for Trident. We're going to make a cap happen. Fitz, he shuts down one of those noses. There's going to be a couple more around him. Unable to find them at the moment. Oh, there's one there's going to be vanishing on the stairs, takes him down. Who would predict a player being on top of the spell? Oh, well, look at Blue with the turnaround there. Beautiful job out of his book there. He's doing some great defense for Fame. They're still holding on to the lead. Team of Trying to Rebellion unable to get anywhere near the base. Jolteon, he's currently 7 for 1, and he's doing the role which every team needs in a blitz. Just that one dude to sit back and play some solid defense. That's what he's doing as of right now as he gets destroyed by Crit. Cross map kill to his name. Rival, he's got to win this one-on-one -on -one gun battle and try and keep a good defense over his base. He does do so. That was blue. He cleaned up. As still fame in the lead, but that was a free down for them. And in comes Bundo, cleaning up one kill. Looking for a second. No, Jolton is going to be there to shut him down, unfortunately. But now Blue is looking to make something happen. Takes down one there at the truck. Now pushing the outside. Picket fence. Looking to make something happen once again. Oh, we did switch over to Fitzy. So Fitzy now looking for me. There's going to be a player contesting. There oh, goes a stun grenade. He knows he's there. He's aware of it. Oh, he's oh it's oh. going to be an engagement. There it oh, is. Fitzy picks it up. That's going to be the play over rival. They were doing a little bit of a tango there. Go to the left, go to the right. Check that booty. It was a beautiful job there, but he did get the kill in the end there. Oh, but he can't get that kill. Wolfie is just way too strong in a situation like that. Bundo trying to get a capture. Doesn't check his corners. And that's going to be Rival. He just gets a kill on the plate there. As now Vanish does spot one going in towards post office. Avoids the concussion. And you can tell by the Oracle mode where the players are located. There's one. But there's still is another one around the vicinity. Didn't see him there. Got to open your eyes to those one there, mate. As Fitzy did get one in the background. So did Wolfie. Long range, but that was Bundo. A little bit of a kill still there. Unfortunately, that Ooh. would have been an amazing kill there from Fitzy. Unfortunately, Bundo stole the kill. Rival, though, and Jolteon both picking up kills, taking two fame players down. And it's oh. going to be a rival now looking to make something happen. Slot one play, oh. able to get tagged. I'm going to finish the kill off. There goes an assist once again now. Jolteon picking up a kill. Oh. And there goes Mo. Crit, rather Crit and Bundo picking up a kill. So Wolfie energy back, taking down Crit. I was about to say, how is he still alive? But he eventually does drop. Jolteon, late reactions there. Could cost his team a capture. But luckily, luckily, Rival was there to get the kill in the meantime. Less than 30 seconds left in this half. Only one point separating the two teams. Fame, they've held the lead for the majority of this time. And you can tell trying Rebellion. They're just putting on some more and more pressure. Jolteon, he's choking his shots. Not too sure what's happening here, but he needs to start to really heat up. He had an amazing first run. But now he's died consecutively four times for the only two kills after that eight kill streak that he got. Wolfie will watch him for the final few seconds. He's not going to be able to find anyone as both of the teams will play defense. So, Fizz, that's a one-point game so far. We still have another five minutes to play. Fame holding on to the lead. Yeah, of course, only five points in that half is going to be a very different one. Very strange one indeed. You know, usually you see about six to maybe 10 to 15 captures in each half. But, uh, you know, only five. No, you, now you go to see how, how contested this is. And each team being very competitive. No one wants to give it up. Who, who are we going to watch? Who's going to go big? Who's going to go big? Oh, I don't know. It's, I'm going to give it to Crit. Crit? Nate, he's really standing out at the moment. Oh, this is oh, interesting. Then again, then again Jolteon's 10 to 4. Exactly right there. Jolteon did slow down, though, because he started off so strong. Crit swapped out that assault rifle for a vector. I, I might put it back, mate. I might just bring that thing back out. Jolteon still sticking to that thermal R5 player right in front of him there. He's only getting hit markers, unfortunately. The player is still around that vicinity. He throws the Simtex to the left side. There he is. Finally gets the kill. That was Bunno. You're trying to be sneaky beaky like. Wolfie on your screens, push you through the middle of the map. Does have support from one of his players to the right side of him. Does throw a grenade to check the corners. Doesn't find anything but blankness. As there is a player to his right, but Rival did get the knife off. This could be a big push out of the guys from trying Rebellion. This could be very interesting indeed. You see Bundo now picking up a note. Sorry, that was Wolfie picking up a kill. Now looking for a second one, gets tagged. Bundo cleans him up though. Bundo now looking to make something happen in his side of things. But Vanish cleans up. Fitzy, Bundo cleans up. Jolty and say. I believe Bunno's on a three straight right now. It's, this is like a cleaning crew here. Trotting Rebellion. As you said, they're just cleaning it up as of right now. They've leveled up the scores. It's great to see this Jolteon. He's doing very well, but we're watching Wolfie. I don't want to switch off this guy because he's just always making some big plays. He is concussed and the team of fame should be able to get that one. I wouldn't even worry if Fitzy wasn't. Fitzy, he's 7 for 11. A little bit unfortunate. He does so well in search and destroys. Would have expected him to carry a little bit more of that momentum. Rival two piece for rival. getting the two-piece. Easy two-piece, says Rival as he takes down Bundo and Fitzy. Now on board of Wolfie. Wolfie takes down Crit, though. No, sorry, that's Blue. 
They're gonna make a final second. Is he gonna be able to find it? No, he's not. Is Critch gonna take him down now? Looking for a third second, maybe. Uh, maybe. No, blue. Come on, that's a kill. I was waiting for him to try and push that. It was rival. Good defense out of his book there. This is such a close game. I wouldn't. I don't. I don't want to say it. If you, I don't want to ruin it. I wouldn't be surprised if this comes down to the final minute because this is just so close. Three minutes to get played out in response who's going to get it guys make sure to join the discussion tell us right now right here right now we're reading your responses who's winning this one it's 3-3 three, three, two minutes left hashtag acl brisbane are fame going to triumph or trident rebellion going to push against the odds and get a 3-0 clean sweep it's going to be a tough one look at that there we go finally caps going out there was only one cap there for the first two minutes of this game now you can oh, see the five, answer five. back the answer back is real though five five fitzy takes down Wolfie. Extreme defense there from the man of Fitzy now looking to make something happen to stop the guys from pushing him too far As they did have two down there for a second the team of fame So now look <laughs> rival shooting at the wall for absolutely yep, no reason I, 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 I agree with that play, you know that wall he was talking some smack and said something about his mum or two He's like, eh, you want to talk smack? Mm? Talk you shoot smack. that Casper's what he's doing Exactly, talk smack Get the whack. That's Rival's response there. As he is so close to getting captured. Oh, That's one. Oh, in front of oh, shut down by Fitzy. That's Huge unfortunate. Out there. Jolting though. Picks up Fitzy. Looking for another play. Knows another play there. There goes Semtex. Brilliant job there by Bundo. And guys, it's just such a close game. When you see players nearly get those captures, it's like, ugh, it's gut wrenching because it's so close. These two teams are equal. Now you do see Rival pushing up. What I am noticing. Oh, oh he chokes the double. Gets a two piece, though. What I'm noticing here is Tronic Rebellion. They're, they're putting on the pressure. They're really upscaling right now in fame. They seem to be crumbling a little. Let's have a look at Crit, uh, crit right now. Like 21 and 12 right now. Goldian is 15 and 6. You know, sort of slow down. Nothing up to me. Oh, oh it's Crit. Oh, my God. Get destroyed, I thought, I thought they removed Commando. I'm just going to say that. I really thought they removed You know, him. he might be just in the threshold there. You know, it's 3.5 meter stab range. So, he might be just on it. So... Yeah, that's a very interesting one. I thought it was a bit of a lunge myself. He's using an energy sword. This ain't Halo, mate. Put that thing away. Needs to use that to his advantage. As I'm, I'm just getting filthy looks from the producing guys. Yeah, they're a little salty that Cod's the new Halo. Sorry, guys. Didn't mean to bring that up for you guys. As Crit is still on our screens. You did see a capture go in for the Team of Fame. They could go against it right now. Do you think they can hold on to the lead, though? You know, it's going to be a tough one, Fame. Currently, you know, there's only 45 seconds left in the game. And it's been a real tight one so far. You know, not many caps going out here and there. This half has been the most caps we've seen so far. I think Fame's got it. You think Fame's got this? Well, let's see if Crick can get a capture. Uh, no. Uh, oh, Bundo's right there, though. Bundo picks up one second. Oh, go on, Bundo. He's got two more to contest, though. Oh, does he go for the reload? Oh, he goes for the shots. Very ambitious play. Didn't work out too well. Blue jumped around the corner. Wasn't able to get the kill. Fitzy was the last one up. He's trying to make some plays in the middle of the map here. But can the guys from Trident Rebellion make a play? Jolt. Look at Rival. He's on the right side. Now it's all up to Jolteon. There's oh, one. Critical. Can he do it though? There's gonna be nine contesting. There's gonna be. Oh, Wolfie gets a nice kill there. Fame Blue looking oh, for the second that, one. That's gotta Blue be it. it up. That that's is gonna, game. Look. That has to be game right now. Who is it? Oh, oh that's that's vanish. Vanish. I thought he could have. I honestly thought he could have. He can't. Uh, it's a little bit unfortunate. Four plays. You think he could have killed four plays and get you, the cap? In, you know, in six seconds. I've seen bigger things. I've seen better plays. Not gonna that lie. That's what here. she said. That is what. Brilliant. You were waiting all series long to get that one. So that will be it. It looks like the victory for the team over at Fame. So they get that one there. That, of course, is Trident Rebellion on your screens there. They know they've walked away with the overall series win 2-1. Two, two, Fame at least get the one map. They're just still sitting there. I, I don't even think they don't want to stop. They love this series so much. But there we go. They're going to shake hands with the Fame boys. And that will wrap it up for pool play over here for the Call of Duty side of ACL Brisbane. We're all going to... We're going to Put all the stats down, uh, Fizz. We're going to look at it all. We're going to rank them all. And in roughly, I don't know how long it will take. It won't take them long at all. But soon we will have that double a limb bracket out for you guys. And we're definitely going to see Trident Rebellion in that top side of the pool. And there we are. You know, as I said, these two teams, it wouldn't be surprising if either of these teams are in the pro bracket for ACL Sydney. Mm -hmm. But they're not playing for that. They're playing for that ticket at Anaheim. Anaheim. Anaheim, plain and simple. First time a Australian team will be offered a C. Congratulations to Trident Rebellion. Very well done on their behalf. So, guys, we will be back shortly with what could be potentially the first game of the double elimination bracket. I'm, of course, Dr. Curry. Make sure you chuck this man a follow, Fizz. He's been doing a brilliant job. What's your Twitter handle? At PHX double Z. There it is, plain and simple. Make sure you chuck him a follow. He's been doing a brilliant job. We'll seeing him throughout later on this afternoon. This afternoon. Aston Eve. I'm making up names. I'm just making stuff up here. But we'll see you more later on as it progresses. It's nearly 5 o'clock here. So, guys, 
take a little bit of a break, go get some snacks, go get some drinks, and we'll be back shortly with more action from ACL Brisbane.